Every device that connects to the network is profiled, so I can look at a device and say, I know that's an IP phone, or I know that's a camera, or I know that's a smartphone, and take action based on that. So there's different ways, it can be as basic as MAC addresses, but there's other signatures and fingerprints the device will have, like the type of OS. So if you see an Android device, it's highly likely that's going to be a smartphone, for instance. It, it can be other devices as well, but ICE uses all these different, all this different information it gets when someone connects to the network to go, right, that's an IP phone, that's a printer. And because like you don't have a person logged onto a printer trying to connect to the network, it will go, well, that's a printer. I'm going to put that into the printer VLAN. I'm only going to allow it to talk to the print server and away you go. So all this stuff just takes the, it takes the chore of doing that kind of stuff uh, manually away from administrators. So it just kind of, once you have ICE set up and running in a network and you know, it's been profiling and you've gone through a period of, let's say, monitoring and learning, you then have a device that will just act as a sort of a, um, an automated network admission control device that's allowing or not allowing people based on you know, your corporate policies and that's really powerful.